Hey everyone, welcome back. Infosec Gurung here. And uh, let's just get into step 8 now of our building a text editor in C project. So this would be about displaying our key presses. That means whatever we type in should be visible to us. To get a better idea of how input in draw mode works, let's just print out each byte that we read. And this is the read function. Fine. We'll print each character's numeric ASCII value uh, as well as the character it represents if it is a printable character. That means um, everything uh, which has an ASCII value would be printed or which suppose, supports UTF-8. Now you can go and uh, check out more about uh, what is maybe um, ASCII values and uh, just uh, duck, duck, go or Google it. Anything works, even start page. And uh, we'll just see what ASCII code is. So it stands for American Standard Code for Information Interchange, okay? And uh, computers can only understand numbers. So um, an ASCII code is the numerical representation of a character such as A or at the rate. Uh, Cool. It was developed long ago and now the non-printing characters are really used for their original purpose. That's fine. And this is the whole list. Um, such that if you um, take the ASCII character, let's say 67. Okay, no, 65. Yeah, so that would be the capital A and uh, 97 would be small a. Okay. And... Uh, yeah, so the ASCII value of let's say capital K would be 75. Hope you got that. So these are interchangeable because our computer reads these values and while we read these values. Hope that's fine. And uh, these, we, we would be uh, modifying these lines, modifying or editing these lines. Fine. Let's start with this and let's go kilo.c and we'll be adding new header files hash include c type dot h the next one would be hash include stdio dot h this is i feel like most standard one which is almost there in any other c program because um printf function is derived from this okay and yeah then we need to edit our main function cool okay and uh, after enable enabling raw mode we need to edit our while function uh, sorry while loop And this is fine. Cool. If oops, is C N T R L C N T R L C then what we do is printf and uh, d this comma c okay so this is uh, the percentage sign then d d uh, stands for um, integer okay so c would be an integer then uh, else uh, printf uh, d then in the brackets we have uh, the person sign and c close quote and then uh, escape sequence then c comma c okay so what we want to ask here is if um, RC, okay, the byte which is input uh, from the um, 
uh, standard input we are we are checking if it's a readable character or not if it is not readable uh, i mean uh, yeah if it is not readable then um, it will just print the um, it will just print the num uh, the ascii number okay and if it is printable uh, then we will be able to see the ascii number as well as the character which we had had press okay so here c is the same but there are two forms of c that is one is ascii value and one is the character value fine and uh, yeah that is all we need to change cool um uh, is cntrl comes from c type dot h and printf comes from standard um input output dot h stdio is std is standard and io is input output okay is cntrl test whether a character or is a control character okay cool yeah and control characters are non printable characters that we don't want to print to the screen and ascii codes um uh, 0 to 31 are all control characters Let's just check it out. Zero to thirty-one. Okay, so these are all like cancel, end of medium, escape. Okay, so these are all um con uh, our control characters like carriage return that is um, enter. Okay, and one twenty-seven is also a control character. Let's just check. One twenty-seven is the delete. Uh, the delete. button or the delete character fine and uh, yeah ascii codes are from 32 to 126 are all printable and this all is actually uh, there in your keyboard fine check out the ascii table to see all the characters okay printf can print multiple representations of a byte yeah and uh, percentage d tells it to format the byte as a decimal number that is its ascii code and uh, percentage c tells it to write the byte directly as a character okay that means whatever we press on our keyboard is shown directly this is a very useful program so let's just check it out how useful it is it is compiled successfully let's type asd okay This is pretty cool because till now I couldn't see anything, and now I can see everything. Whatever I type, C L E A R uh, space is okay. Uh, enter is ten, space is thirty two. Then uh, what else is there? Uh, P L maybe capital A B C. So if you actually see, uh, A here is ninety seven, S is one one five. Okay, we can just cross check it. One one five S ninety seven A. Then uh, what else is there? Let's say uh, A is uh, capital A is sixty five. Um, yeah, sixty five, sixty six, sixty seven is here. Then uh, let's see what thirty two is. Thirty two is a space which is correct, and ten um, is. a new line field we'll come to that later <laughs> cool uh it shows us how various key presses translate into the bytes we read okay so the thing is that uh whenever we whenever we press anything in our uh, with our keyboard um we read it as uh let's say we read it as this character and the computer read it, reads it as the number uh, which is the ascii number of the uh, respective character fine uh most ordinary keys directly translate into the characters they represent but try seeing what happens when you press arrow keys up down left right okay so this these three were printed when it was up then uh, down is this one okay then left would be this let's just check yeah left is this and right is this Okay, no, it's this. Yeah. Um. Okay. Or home, or end, or backspace. Okay, backspace is one twenty seven, and delete is ninety one fifty one one twenty six. Okay. And to try combinations with Control A, Control B. Okay, Control A, Control B, C, 
oops control C just um, um, exited our program okay um, control D E F okay cool you'll notice a few interesting things arrow keys uh, all input 3 to 4 are of 3 to 4 bytes yeah true and then it starts with 27 then this which we can see 27 then 91 and then 65 okay and this is known as an escape sequence all escape sequences start with a 27 byte okay okay so escape sequence that is the reason behind why we called it escape sequence because um the 27 ascii number gets printed along fine um cool pressing escape sends a single 27 byte as input escape 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 cool backspace is byte 127 delete is a four byte escape sequence backspace is 127 okay delete is a four byte sequence let's just try it again okay so it's one two three and four okay enter is byte 10 which is a new line character also known as um backs back uh okay how do i how do i tell this uh forward slash yeah backward slash and n okay so that would be somewhere here 10 is new line feed new line cool Control A is 1, B, uh, Control B is 2, yeah, that's fine. That And Control C terminates the program, fine. We, we just saw it, okay. Uh, control A, B, and C. <laughs> and, uh, um, yeah, that that's fine. So, we covered this as well, and we saw it in our kilo. By the way, if you happen to press Control S, you may find your program... Uh, seems to be frozen what you've done is if asked your program to stop sending you output press ctrl q to tell it to resume um, sending you output okay let's see ctrl s yeah yeah whatever i'm typing is not visible at all okay now if i press ctrl q okay yeah now whatever i typed is actually visible cool and why does this happen is let's just wait all right uh, that dns problem is fixed and software control flow is the method used in computer data links especially um, something okay so this is the control flow these co codes are generally called XOFF and XONN. It means X off and X on from transmit off and transmit on respectively. Fine. So pause transmission is control S and resume transmission is control Q. Okay. Okay. And uh, this uses was copied uh, de facto standard. Okay. Cool. So that's the reason why it was inbuilt like um coded at the beginning and it's still going on till now control s and control q okay um also if you press control z or maybe control y your program will be suspended to the background from the f3 command to bring it back to the foreground let's just check it what did we have to type control z yeah cool so let's just check it out vg Ah, cool. So, Kilo is actually running behind and we can press FG to bring it again and wait. Yeah. Cool. It's working. Um, it may quit immediately and after you do that as a result of the read returning minus one to indicate that was an error that happens. This happens on Mac OS while Linux seems to be able to resume read call properly. Yeah, it works properly now. Cool. And uh, control Y. Um, nothing seems to happen with control Y, but, but with control Z it happens. Let's just exit with Q. And yeah. Uh, okay. So in step 9 onwards, uh, in step 9, we'll be seeing how to turn off control C and control C. And that would be another video. And uh, let's just check if I have missed something or not. 
this step is imbued with magic and this is what it is this is the theory which I have just copy pasted um, press out yeah by the way if you happen to press yeah cool so I think everything's covered right now this is InfoSec Gurung and um, hope you have a good day or a night ahead